In this Adobe Fireworks tutorial, you can learn to create interactive web-ready maps that are HTML and JavaScript based. Your map areas will change colors when the user's mouse hovers over them, and we can program interaction into the map areas. We also discuss integrating this type of interactive map with dynamic PHP and MySQL systems. And this is the finished product of the user interface that you'll be learning to create. So you have a web-ready map that lights up different areas when the user's mouse goes over that specific area. And then the user can click that and they're ushered to a page called continent.php and it passes the dynamic variable for whatever continent it is over to that page. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is open the map that I want to begin with in Fireworks. Now I'm going to add a second state to that map, which will give it a different look and determine the hover state. So you can go over to your side panel here if you have it on the right and open states, or you can go to window, states. Right click state one and duplicate it one time after the current state. Press OK. Now in this one, we're going to highlight the image on state two. And then we're going to add filter, adjust color, hue and saturation. I'll select colorize and actually that looks like a good color right there to me I like that you can really make it any color you want by sliding your hue and saturation you can make it very bright Let's see maybe I'll make it blue actually I like that green color right there in between blue and green okay so if you go in between state 1 and state 2 you can see what you have you have the regular gray or whatever colors your map is starting with and then you have your hover state you can even rename this one hover and the first one rename normal so you have your normal state and your hover state okay let's go back to the normal view of our map now we're going to add slices and hotspots in fireworks slices and hotspots are used to make things web interactive and I'm going to target North America first with a slice so in your left toolbar here you go under web and you grab your polygon slice or you can hold it down you can get the regular slice or polygon slice which will allow you to make any shape slice that you want so what I'm going to do is target North America just by drawing a polygon slice all the way around it and I'm not sure about this little island here but I'm just gonna make that part of North America I'm not a geography expert so alright so you can see I'm putting a polygon slice all the way around North America now I'm going to grab a hotspot, polygon hotspot, and I'm going to draw pretty much the same shape. But this one is a hotspot. And I'm going to try and make it just a little bit smaller or inside of the slice if I can. And it doesn't really have to be, but you want to be able to select both of them when you get done drawing this one out. So that's why I'm making it a little bit smaller than I did or have some edge of the slice visible underneath the hotspot that way I can grab both of them when I need to so now we have our hotspot on top of our slice now let's highlight the slice again underneath the hotspot and we're going to click this little center reticule and add simple rollover behavior now let's highlight the hotspot on top grab its reticule grab its center point reticule and drag it over to the slice. Now a little dialog pops up that says swap image and we're going to swap image from the hover state. Okay. Now I'm going to go to file, save as, and just so I don't overwrite my initial world map image, I'm just going to name this interactive. So I have interactive underscore world map, save it, and then press F12 to run it in your favorite browser. Now when I hover over North America, you see that that switches to state 2. Now we're going to add the hotspot and slice for the continent of Europe. Now before we do that, let's talk about the interactivity that you can place on the hotspot. You can put any link you want. So you can have it go to a page called continent.php and attach a get variable to it of name equals North America. And you can do that for all of the hotspots that you put on your map for all of your various continents. And then continent.php will just need to be set up by the programmer to maybe fetch variables from the database according to North America or Europe or whatever. Or you might just want to show a larger map of North America. So all we've done so far is we had a map. We added a second hover state for the map that changes the colors. 
Then we added a slice. And what the slice does is determines what part of the map is going to be visible when the person hovers over it or when the person hovers over this hotspot. When the person hovers over this hotspot, this slice determines what part of the imagery is going to be shown to them because this slice is connected to this hotspot and the hotspot is where we add our web interactivity and you can make the alt say North America for that one. So basically we'll do the same thing for Europe now. We're going to add a slice and then a hotspot for web interactivity. Now Europe where it's connected to Asia is going to be a little bit trickier so we're going to add another slice, polygon slice, and I'm going to start drawing it in right here. And if I need to I can press control and mouse wheel in to zoom in real close. And I'm just going to go around all through here making sure that I don't intersect with Asia. And I'm going to go up through this line very carefully. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be as perfect as possible. So you could spend a whole lot of time making sure that you define your lines correctly through here on all of your slices. Your hotspots, it's not really going to matter so much. Okay, so there's our slice. Let's grab our pointer tool again and hit the center and add simple rollover behavior. Now let's draw our hotspot on top of it. So we'll grab polygon hotspot. And this one doesn't have to be a so exact in its shape because this is just going to be the mouse over interactivity. But I'm going to shape it pretty much the same. And your lines wouldn't have to be so intricately defined because this is just where the user's mouse is going to be grabbing. So it wouldn't have to be as perfect as the other line. There. Now the link for this one, put continent.php question mark name equals Europe and the alt for that clickable hotspot or that web interactive hotspot is going to be Europe and you're only putting alt because there's an image associated with that hotspot and all images on the page require an alt attribute and you can also specify the target for all of your links now we're gonna make sure we highlight the hotspot and drag its center to the slice under it and we'll swap image from hover state to OK. Now press Control S, press F12 to preview this. So now when we hover over Europe, you can see that it's interactive now, along with North America. And if I was to click that, it would attempt to take me to a page called continent.php name equals Europe. Okay, now let's zoom back out to 100%. And what I'm going to do is now add the slices and hotspots for Asia. Africa, Australia, and South America using the same approach that we used for North America and Europe. Okay, now I've got my whole map rigged up and when I highlight any hotspot, it has the proper link with the proper dynamic URL variable. So if I render this, you can see that I get all of my continents are lit up where they should be when my mouse goes over that specific area. And even very intricate shapes, see, like these very close together. You can spend a lot of time making sure that all your shapes are correct, all of your slices. So remember, the hotspot is what the user's mouse will go over and determine what will show for the slice that's under it. And the slice determines what part of the graphics are going to be showing. Now, what we'll do is go to File, Export. We're going to create a new folder on the desktop. Call it Interactive Map. Now inside of this folder called interactive map that's sitting on our desktop, we're going to export the HTML and all of the images for this web interactive world map. And there's a lot of different little options you can play with down here according to your specific needs. So let's go to save. Now let's see what we have on our desktop. We have this folder interactive world map. And here's the HTML page and all of the images. Now if you open the HTML page, you'll see basically what you saw when you rendered out in Fireworks. And this is a page you can just throw up on the web. It's ready to go. And when the person clicks any of these continents, they're going to go to a page called continent.php, which can be set up to be very dynamic. And you can also open with Dreamweaver and check out all of the JavaScript and HTML that make up that image map. And you can also add further interactivity. The better you get with JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, and all those little things, you can add a whole lot more interactivity and coolness to your map. Now let's go right back into our map 
into the layers and what I'm going to do is go up into the web layer and I'm gonna lock it and that's where all my hotspot and slices are I'm gonna lock it and I'm gonna make it to where I can't see it and then on state one my normal state I'm just gonna put the labels right on the continents so that I'll just make it white press control C control V put this one over here say South America and I'll do that for all of them now I'll also want to take those highlight all of them and hold shift as I'm highlighting them all to grab them all together like that press control C and go into your state 2 your hover state make sure you put them there also if you want them to show up when the user hovers over press control S preview your file by pressing F12 and you can see now you have labels over all of your continents which might help people alright so it's very important to remember that you can use the JavaScript HTML and and then add PHP to the whole system to make it a very dynamic web interactive map to where when somebody clicks on any of these continents you're gonna usher them to continent.php with a dynamic variable attached and you can dig a whole lot of information out of your database according to what that variable is and then display it on continent.php so if I click North America when this map is on the web I can program my database to query things for North America and then render them to the page and the same page continent.php would be able to render all the different results for all these various continents so basically all you would need is two pages the page that holds your map and then the dynamic page that renders results from things that people click on in your map